Hey guys, it is YouTube Lo-Fi Week this week, uh, which encourages everyone to use their webcams or old recording equipment to make a video on. And for me, this is possibly the easiest video that I've ever had to make. I don't need to set up my camera, I don't need to set up my tripod, I don't need to wait for the natural light to come in because of the fact that my light is awful. And if I want to use some kind of light to light me up, I just glow. Look. I'm glowing, guys. I mean, I know the quality of the webcam probably doesn't exactly help this. Beauty gurus always go on about having a highlighter on your face. Just freaking use a lamp. Do you know what I mean? Just put a lamp on you for your videos and there you go. You're highlighted. So, I will get to the crux of this. I am doing my Friday reads and I am showing you the books. Book that I'm going to be reading over the weekend, which is Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code. This is the second Dan Brown book that I have actually read, and this is amazing, pretty much. I'm almost 200 pages into the book, and his writing is so fluid, and the way he builds the tension and is absolutely incredible. Like, he'll write something and you'll get so worked up and start trying to figure things out, and then he'll go on to something else and you're like, no, I need to find out what's going to happen. And that is the making of a brilliant author, somebody that can grip you. And maybe that's why I'm actually reading this book a lot faster than I would usually because I'm literally speeding through this book. It's absolutely incredible. And I just love this type of book. This type of book, kind of crime, symbology, those are the kind of books that I don't like the prospect of reading, but then when I actually pick it up and I do start reading it, I absolutely love it and can't put it down. I love getting myself involved with the plots, I like solving the riddles and the codes, and sometimes when you have like a series of numbers or a series of letters and like um, somebody's written a message or a riddle or something like that, sometimes I'll spend a good like five, ten minutes just staring at that, trying to figure it out for myself, and then when it actually comes to finding out the meaning behind everything I go back and I'm like oh my god that makes so much sense now I just love the feeling of knowing and of feeling kind of intelligent when reading in the way that I know what they did but then I kind of don't feel intelligent anymore when I think that I didn't actually work it out in the first place but I just still love these I just think they're so interactive and it's really soft this book is so soft, like the pages, it's just, it's one of those floppy books that's really soft. I can't explain it. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. But yeah, let me know if you have read The Da Vinci Code, and I'm sure a lot of you probably have, because there was a little craze a few years ago where everyone was reading it, but I wasn't, because I was one of those stubborn little people that was always like, I'm not reading The Da Vinci Code because everyone else is reading it, and I don't want to join on the bandwagon. But then I always kind of give in about, like, three years later, and I'm like, I want to read it now. But have you read it? And... What were your opinions of it? I'd love to know. And also let me know what you're reading this weekend. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful weekend. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.